I thought I would run through some of the most basic calls that a turkey hunter uses. This is not intended to be an instructional video, but just kind of an awareness for you. If you've never been uh, turkey hunting or really exposed to it, really what all the, the hype is all about. Uh, the basic premise of turkey hunting in the spring is to do what you can to lure a, um, a, uh, a male turkey, which a tom or gobbler or long beard or whatever, uh, into shotgun range. Uh, and for turkey hunters, we primarily do that with the use of calls. Sometimes we use camo, uh, sometimes we'll use um, uh, decoys, all kinds of other things. But calls are the bread and butter of any turkey hunter's uh, arsenal or bag of tricks. Now there's lots of different types of calls out there, but primarily they all are used to produce essentially the same set of sounds. They might just have their own little niche and sound a little bit different or used in a little bit different circumstances, but pretty much uh, the bread and butter of every turkey hunter is to sound like a hen turkey to attract that male in. Now this is my, my absolute very favorite call to use. This is a box call and um, I don't know if you can see it, but this thing is autographed and I've got notes and details of, of every hunt that I've used, uh, used it on over more than 20 years now. Uh, and uh, it's very special to me, not only because it just sounds awesome, but because it's full of memories too. Some of the best turkey hunters I know and the best turkey hunting buddies a guy could ever ask for are kind of documented on here. Brad Austin, Dwayne Campbell, Caleb Payne, um, Ray and Zach Douglas, and I mean the list goes on. So it's kind of a neat little thing that I'm so glad I started doing so many years ago. Now to sound like a, a hen, you're essentially just going to use her, 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 um, her main vocal vocalization, which is a yelp. And early on, when I started turkey hunting, um, um, one of my mentors told me that it was much more important to pay attention to the rhythm and the pattern of the call more so than the pitch or the sound quality. Uh, and once you get the rhythm and pattern down, then you can maybe start to kind of finesse that and get uh, sound a little more realistic. But most important thing to a wild bird is that 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 rhythm and that um, pattern and that's with with the yelp that's essentially um like three or four short yelps and a pause four or five short yelps and a pause five or six short yelps and a pause you can mix it up but they usually do short bursts of yelps with a pause in between and it sounds like this on my box call. Okay, and I love that call. Same idea with another type of call that's very popular is what we kind of uh, generically call a slate call. And this one's not even slate, this is glass. Um, uh, over a, a, a wood base that's kind of hollowed out on the back side and then you use what's called a striker or this thing this one is particularly uh, made out of carbon fiber but it makes essentially the sound, same sounds as the, as the box call uh, but a lot of hunters love these too Okay. Now the the uh, the last one to that I'm going to show you today that makes that yelp sound of a hen is the diaphragm or mouth call. Now these are no doubt the hardest to master. Um, a lot of guys will have a, a gag reflex when they first start trying to to use it, but you essentially put this diaphragm in the roof of your mouth, press your tongue against it. Uh, and then blow through to produce the same sounds that your slate and your box call produce. Sounds like this. Now 
I'll take a diaphragm with me, but obviously I'm not as near as good as it as I am with the box call. So it's just kind of there if I need it. Last kind of little thing I wanted to show you today are what are called locator calls. And another technique that turkey hunters will use many times is if they need to know where a bird is, but they don't want to necessarily start sounding like a hen yet, is they'll use a locator call or a shock call. And it, the idea with this is, you know, when you hide behind um, the corner and your buddy or your wife or whoever comes around the corner and you yell, boo, and they have a, a reaction, bah! Well, that's essentially what this shock call is supposed to do. It produces a loud piercing um, uh, call that they're already familiar with, but it surprises them and hopefully that Tom will react by gobbling uh, his version of ah! Okay, so here's a crow call. A lot of diaphragm pressure to, to blow this. pretty easy. Here's an owl call, same kind of thing. Uh, you're hoping to um, shock that or scare that Tom into surprising him into to gobbling and revealing where he is for you. Man, I love this stuff. Okay, so that's the basic premise of why you're calling and some of the most basic sounds that turkey hunters use. Um, you know, I hope that uh, maybe you'll use this time that uh, this season that our, our, um, our state, our country, our world is going through right now to possibly connect with your outdoors in a way that maybe you've never tried before. Uh, this is a great opportunity in the Outdoors are essentially always open, whether it's your backyard, uh, the park, the wherever. As long as you're practicing good social distancing and, and keeping yourself um, separate and isolated from others like we hear so much about right now, uh, there's plenty to do and enjoy in your outdoor Oklahoma. Stay safe, folks, and uh, 